enormously excited to have a chance to show the Salucci family, and in particular, Reese, the whole nature of what we're doing here. It's very exciting and interesting to me, and I love learning all of this stuff. When I was really young, we would always go to the park and play baseball for like three hours. He, he'd always watch TV with me, my sister, and my cousin, just on his iPad on the couch. We'd always have such funny conversations. I'd hear stories about him. Uh, he'd FaceTime us and tell us a knock-knock joke. Their support has been phenomenally key in some of the most exciting work we do. It's my great, great, great pleasure to show them exactly what's going on in the laboratory. And uh, they are my inspirations for me, for people in my lab, to do a better job to understand the AOS. Are these both the genes that cause, both genes that are the effects are carried out? Or are they just another genes along the domino line? Yeah, good question. I must say that a visit like this is also very motivating for us to see the uh, interest, the passion of the next generation uh, in how this disease evolves and how we can treat it uh, is really a great motivator for all of us in the lab and we're very grateful for this opportunity. It's amazing to see, to come here today um, to meet with Dr. Brown and Dr. Gao and to see how much progress has been made with the Salucci Fund and with the research since my dad, while he was suffering from this terrible disease, began this fund and now to come and see his legacy, this is his final legacy, and to see what's happening, it's so exciting. I haven't been in a lab like this ever before. This is just so extraordinary with just all the um, different factors, with the flies, and all the way that they're looking at this from every angle, it's um, very impressive. All of the money raised goes to um, high-risk, high-reward ALS research and that we really feel that UMass uh, Medical with Dr. Brown and Dr. Gao, the cure, the treatment for this disease is going to come out of this lab and these doctors. You can do something that benefits yourself, you feel good for a bit. When you do something that benefits the community, you feel like a part of the community and a lot of the time you just want to be a part of the community. I want to be connected with my grandfather. I want to be connected with the Commonwealth. I want to serve all the people who have this terrible disease and I want, I want, it, I want it to be cured.